In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone, I am Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again. Today, we have a beautiful and powerful Jesus Word, the Word of God. Today's Holy Gospel, uh, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Today's Holy Gospel title is, uh, we can say, The Call of Simon, the Fisherman. Wow, this is uh, amazing. We can now, uh, if possible, have a look at uh, today's uh, Holy Gospel. While the crowd was uh, pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was uh, standing by the lake of uh, Genesaret. Listening to the word of God. I think this is beautiful. We are always listening to the word of God or we are listening the word of uh, this world. I don't think so. We listen the voice of uh, or the word of uh, Satan or uh, this world. I always agree how important the word of God. Now today's Holy Gospel, I, I would say, uh, it is so important, the two point, point of uh, uh, Simon, who has been called by Jesus Christ. First, he listened carefully, deeply, the word of God. Not just the full stop now, but also he did, I mean, he obeyed. He has done obedience about Jesus' word, God's word. So this is, I think, is more and more important. We listen to the word of God. We can listen every time to the word of God. But if we don't do obey or obedience with our heart, the presence of God is not there. Now, we have a look quickly how the presence of God entered in uh, Simon's heart or Simon's life. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for catching. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. So Simon listened carefully to Jesus' word. And then, even though he had a lot of uh, uh, doubt about Jesus, but he had decided to listen or to obey Jesus' word, the word of God. So he said, but at your command, at your word, at your, you know, the gentleness, at your holiness, at your love, I will, I will lower the net. And then what happened? When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. Wow! Simon, he was amazed to Jesus, not because he had a lot of uh, uh, fish, or he saw lots of uh, fish, but this is very important. He could understand who is uh, Jesus Christ. Now I want to you know, the, have a question to me and to you. Why we listen to the word of God and sometimes we cannot obey or do obedience? Like children, how many times we say, we ask children, please now switch off the television and do your homework or come to uh, you know, the dinner. But many times children said, yes, mom, and then doing continually. What does it mean? means they listened, but 
they didn't or didn't obey. So sometimes parents were upset or angry. In our life, at some point like this one, we listen to the word of God, but we don't do. We don't open our heart or with our decision if we don't practice, obviously. God's presence is not here. Doesn't do anything, signs or miracle. Now probably the church gives many things to people, but not this obedience or right things, the presence of God. And the other things is very important. Simon Peter understood not about Jesus just, but about himself. So I believe this is very important too. If you understand about your life, your heart, obviously you are now ready to re receive the word of God, to do obedience about God's commandment. Jesus said always, if you love me, keep my commandment. We say, yeah, we love you. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I believe you. But we don't keep his commandment. In fact, this is a problem. But Simon Peter understood very well and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. He knew himself. He was a simple man, lacking of faith, lacking of everything. Here, the presence of God came, entered, and finally, Jesus gave uh, uh, Simon Peter this word. Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching man. God's calling. When we listen the word of God and when we give obedience deeply, carefully, God calls us. Wow, this is a beautiful thing. And then what happened? When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. My dear brothers and sisters, when you listen to the word of God, don't listen just, just you know, the listening or listen uh, the word of God, but with your heart and do it. For example, I remember perfectly when I was a uh, uh, you know the seminary first time. I uh, had to do you know the short you know the uh, uh, homily or sermon. I was so afraid, my legs trembled. Many other you know things happened to me, but that time I remember, Holy Spirit, please help me. Help me with your power, with your fire, I will speak. After that prayer, I was a, a bit better. Why? I have decided with my heart. Decision is so important. So, with this your beautiful decision, heart, you can do. The presence of God can enter in your life. You can see many signs, many miracles in your life. With this blessing, may we have a wonderful and powerful and holy time and day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.